Before flight, you should always ask yourself, are you current, proficient, and safe to fly? Many people get confused between currency and proficiency. The easiest way to explain it is, you're current if you can legally fly the plane, and you're proficient if you can actually fly it. For a private pilot in the United States, you're current if you're not due for your biannual flight review, also simply referred to as FR. The flight review usually consists of one hour of ground and one hour of flight time. This is something you must do every 24 calendar months, meaning if you passed your check ride on June 15th, 2023, your flight review will be due by June 30th, 2025. You can do your flight review with a certified flight instructor or designated pilot examiner. In addition to this, in order to legally carry passengers, you must also have performed three takeoffs and landings in the same category, class, and type, if required, in the past 90 days. If you want to carry passengers at night, those three takeoffs and landings must have been performed to a full stop and at least one hour after sunset and one hour before sunrise. Your nighttime takeoffs and landings can count for daytime, but the daytime ones cannot count for night. I will talk about categories, classes, and types, as well as the different definitions of night in separate videos. Now, you might be legally allowed to fly the plane, but you should always ask yourself if you are capable of doing it. For example, if your check ride was a year ago, you were legally allowed to go fly by yourself, but if you haven't flown at all since then, you might not be as proficient as you used to be, and going up with a CFI for a little refresher might be a good idea. And finally, ask yourself if you are safe to fly the specific flight you want to do. Just be sure to run yet another checklist, the M-SAFE checklist. I stands for illness. Hopefully this is pretty straightforward. If you are sick, don't fly, especially if you have a cold or something affecting your sinuses. You will regret it immediately when going up. M stands for medication. Are you taking any medication that will impair your flying? The FAA has a neat little guide I will link in the description below that lists the most common over-the-counter medications and whether it is generally safe to fly when taking them. When in doubt or to check if your prescription medication is safe to fly on, always defer to your medical examiner. S stands for stress. Have you been experiencing any stress lately? Maybe you are studying for an exam, planning a trip, or having issues at work. Stress can come from various situations. Learn how to recognize when you're experiencing it. A stands for alcohol. That one is pretty simple. You are not allowed to fly if you've had a drink in the last eight hours and if your blood alcohol level is over 0.04%. For example, if you go on a bender on a Friday night, stop drinking at midnight, your blood alcohol level might still be over the 0.04% well into the next day. Even if it's been more than 8 hours, you cannot fly. F stands for fatigue slash food. Take care of your body. The National Institute of Health recommends adults to sleep between 7 to 9 hours every night. Know what your body needs in order to be rested and make sure to consistently get that number of hours. Same goes for food. Don't skip a meal and make sure to stay hydrated. And finally, E stands for emotions. Did something happen to affect your emotional health? Maybe a loved one passed away recently and you aren't quite in the right mindset to go fly a plane just yet. Give yourself time and learn how to recognize the signs you might not be fit to fly. Now some of those are pretty clearly black or white situations like the alcohol or medication. Others may be more of a gray area. You might still be fit to fly a plane if your night was cut short by an hour. What you should be looking at for is when things start to stack up. If you didn't sleep well last night because you had a fight with your significant other, then things are starting to compound and that's dangerous. Know yourself, know your limits, and be smart about your go-no-go -no -go decision. Next, we'll cover aircraft.